Okay, next up we're going to show some additional uh, case study projects of uh, other students using RhinoCam in some pretty cool ways. So let's go right into our next slide. Here uh, we see student projects from the Rhino Fab Studio in Miami, Florida. These are students, uh, typically these probably are, are high school students, entry level students. And what they're making here, you see we, uh, skateboards here leaning up against the, uh, the wall. And each student gets to uh, manufacture design and manufacture their own skateboard. And what you're seeing on these images here on the top right and top left uh, is the actual uh, three-axis roughing uh, Rhino Camp toolpaths. And what they're doing is they're machining a form which will actually be used to compress the shape of the skateboard into its final form. So the skateboard is like a, uh, a laminated series of wood and glued together, and these forms actually uh, make it uh, form its shape. And also on this next top slide, it's pretty cool. The students actually design some uh, laser etching designs for the underside of their skateboards, and they use Rhino Cam, uh, obviously machinists, but they use Rhino to create the geometric or organic, I should say, design uh, that they etch. Uh, in the bottom of these uh, laminate, bottom laminate side of the skateboard, which is pretty cool. In this next slide, this is from the University of Washington uh, at the College of Built Environments, and they make a lot of uh, different wood uh, crafted products, not just wood, but other other materials as well. But here we're just showing uh, three examples of some of their projects they've made uh, with the help of RhinoCam uh, there at the University of Washington. Here you see on the left a uh, milled rocker made out of cherry, and that's a pretty cool design. You, you could easily see that in a high-end uh, furniture store. Uh, and then we'll skip over to the right. You see some uh, casted uh, patterns. It looks like uh, medium density foam. Uh, looks like they're cutting in medium density foam and probably cast some patterns from that, uh, from these parts. And you notice these little tabs in each of the parts. Those can be added automatically by RhinoCam when you uh, do a two-axis profiling operation, or uh, you can place your know, exact exact control and where you want to place them. But those are all done by RhinoCam. You don't have to model those. And then in the center. It looks like they're having a show and tell project uh, with a number of uh, different cool projects here lined up both on the floor and, and on the table uh, using RhinoCam for those projects.